I think that very few people see themselves as bad or evil people. I think there's almost no one that does, not on a fundamental level. People may think that um, their values are somehow out of step with society, they may understand that society considers them bad or evil, but I think that almost no one actually um, actually kind of accepts that judgment. People think they're doing the right thing, and the right thing may be uh, taking care of themselves because they are the most important person in the world and everyone else is useless and unimportant. That's what a sociopath and narcissist would think. Uh, but they're still doing what they consider to be the right thing. I don't think Hitler got up in the morning, looked in the mirror and said, look at that monster, I'm such a horrible person, now, you know, let's go and do my business of, of genocide. I think like pretty much every other human being, he looked in the mirror and thought, you know, uh, time to do the good work, time to do what I know is right and has to be done, German people and all of that BS. Now that's not to justify um, Hitler's actions. Uh, far from it, obviously they were horrendous. Uh, it's not also not to say that people don't kind of lie to themselves to some extent because they want to do something selfish, um, but their their conscience kind of stops them from it. And that's like a different situation. Like when you do something selfish, but you're feeling kind of bad, that's one of those exceptions where you become aware that you're not actually acting correctly. But there's a limit to that. People don't do it to the extent that they feel bad all the time because people can't handle it. Some people don't have the mechanism in the first place, which lets them do whatever they want and they feel it's justified. Um, and another exception would be, you know, a criminal that at some point realizes what they did is wrong and is truly sorry for it. Like, say, um, I don't know, someone murders someone in a fit of rage and they, they come to their senses and they go to jail and they realize what they did was terrible um, and they're really actually sorry. So they're aware kind of... Um, in retrospect that what they did was wrong and that they are in some sense a bad person for having done it um, but that's those are the only exceptions I think most people do what they do even if they're terrible things thinking they're they're uh, good people that are doing the thing that needs to be done and I think this applies to most criminals, most um, antisocial people that are damaging to society, um, and and they probably have a view of the world in which uh, they or their group of people um, hold a special position which justifies their actions. Um, now, why am I even talking about this? Uh, it's because, you know, those are all extreme cases. But when it comes to all of us, uh, you know, all of us normal people that are not going around murdering people or doing horrendous things. When it comes to us normal left-wingy, right-wingy people, um, raising families, working our jobs, I honestly don't think that there's, you know, there's always this, this feeling, you know, you see the world this way. This other person... Um, says, no, we're not going to do things this way, but you know it's the right way. So that other person must be like, must be bad. They must, they must either be like, you know, their brain must somehow be malfunctioning and either they're really misguided or they're just evil and they're trying to undermine what they know is good. Like for me as a left winger, um, you know, if I suggest some form of plan to help some certain group and someone from the right comes along and says no it'll do more harm than uh, than good and we shouldn't do it and people should be responsible for themselves obviously then the instinctive reaction is to say oh that person doesn't want to help people they must be bad and they must be uh, terribly selfish and all of that kind of stuff but that's you know even it First of all, that might not be true. They might actually hold the opinion that it's best for 
best for those people and my idea would be damaging for them and even if they're selfish that selfishness still comes out of a true conviction they may be kind of rationalizing things but it, it still comes out of a true conviction that somehow they're important and they are uh, you know those other people are just um, being lazy or unproductive and therefore don't deserve the same kind of stuff and you know this isn't about who is right or wrong and you know so obviously when it's a debate about abortion then probably someone that's very against abortion would consider my views which are kind of you know pro-choice would consider them horrendous and evil um, and me to be somehow you know, very morally dubious. I mean, that's at least the first instinct because you're looking at that other person through your own view and so you're thinking if someone kind of held the same views then doing what that person's doing would be terrible uh, and they would know that it's wrong and they would know that they're acting wrongly and so someone that knows they're acting wrongly but does so anyways, they're bad people. But people all have their own opinions and in their world they're not acting wrongly even if on some semi-objective measure what they think is incorrect um, I think that generally people <laughs> don't go around believing you know just thinking oh well I know that's a terrible thing to do and I'm a bad person for doing it but I'll do it anyways because I like being a bad person and I know I'm terrible um, and I'm a detriment to humanity, but I'll do it anyways. I don't think that's the case. Um, and why I think that's important um, is going back to some of the stuff I said in much earlier videos about I think it's not a good idea generally to be angry or to just attack people and attack them personally and to be offensive in general. You know, that's why I'm against just of what I see as um, attempts to offend Muslims and to ridicule people even if it's something that I object that I would say is um, kind of ridiculous even then I don't agree with it why because people on the other side you know and I'm again not saying who's right or wrong I'm probably wrong on some things but the people on the other side even if they're wrong they honestly hold those beliefs and <laughs> The only way that there's going to be any movement or any common ground or any progress is if you first overcome that initial hurdle of convincing the other side that you're not actually meaning to be a bad person because that seems to be what people's first instinct is. They must be intentionally being bad people. Um, so if you don't overcome that, um, then everything you say is just coming from the mouth of an evil person and can be dismissed just on that account. In that case, uh, you know, if you then strengthen their position by, by basically just trampling all over them, I think that's just doing more harm than good um, because it's not really going to lead them uh, to consider your position fairly in any way. It's very unlikely to get through their through their um, their kind of uh, their conceptual whatever kind of filter of the world uh, because they've they've pegged you as a bad person an evil person and that's that whereas if you can actually manage to convince them that you're not a bad person you really do mean well and you don't mean to hurt their feelings or offend them and you don't mean to just think they're idiots um, but that's honestly what you believe initially they'll obviously because they believe they're right they'll believe that you're misguided but that's at least a starting point when both, thi when both sides think that um, the other is misguided but have good intentions then you can really work with that you can, you can make arguments and the other side can actually look at them and not feel like they're giving in to an evil person uh, by doing so. And that may actually change some people's minds. It may not. Um, and even if it does, 
the change might be incremental, but over time, I think that way you can probably get to some people and you can change their minds. And if, you know, assuming that in the end, the correct, the objectively correct position, so, you know, objective is kind of a difficult term, but I'll just use it for now. The objectively correct position will kind of come through because it has more evidence backing it that way. Whereas, if the battlefronts are drawn and both sides just go down in their trenches thinking the other side is terrible, then there will be basically no movement. Um, and, I mean, it'll take some kind of cataclysm until one side's completely obliterated for the other to find, for that side's adherence to actually look for a new position to hold. So that's why I think it's very important to always show everyone that you're interacting with to the best of your abilities that you're not actually a terrible person. If you, if you give them the opinion that they're justified in hating you and despising you, um, if you give them the, the ammunition for their brain to just peg you as another one of the haters who wants to destroy them and everything that they stand for, then I think you've basically, you've lost all chance and no matter how good your argument is, it's not going anywhere. So, um, you know, I guess you can hope that it'll get through to someone who then can take it and get it through to them, but your own advocacy is going to be uh, down the drain. Um, I don't know if that's not saying that I'm especially good at it or that I I pull it off all of or even most of the time because I'm human and I get angry or frustrated. Not to mention that, um, like every like most people, I I tend to be maybe too certain about my own views and their correctness so I may be too dismissive of other views at certain points but you know that's I think that's that's fair enough that's what happens to most people but that's why I think we should uh, really go for having civilized conversations and keep the ridicule to a minimum um, except in certain contexts when you're not actually necessarily trying to convince the other side I guess for humor you know I, I can't really fault anyone for making fun of Centaurum for example because well his views are as close to uh, as close to the absolute abject kind of poverty of thought and horrendousness as you can get but when you're actually discussing with another person rather than just talking about someone who's in the public eye when you're talking to another person even if they happen to be say a follower of Centaurum I think it makes sense to um, to be decent to try to convince them that you're okay um, and that you're actually not their enemy alright see you all later